Hi, welcome to the second edition of the Alchemical Guitarist uh, column. Uh, today we're going to look at a manner of running scales, major scales, that will allow you uh, really to shortcut through um, years, practically and probably, of uh, self-investigation or pouring through books or going to teachers. Because I don't want you to have an invisible um, interval, I'm not going to start on the nut. And I never start my students on the nut. Because the nut is, uh, means that things aren't seen that need to be seen. So let's say I took a scale, whole, whole. And that's the beginning of the scale from the one, one, two, three. And then I start from each of the degrees, two, three, four. Now I'd have a whole step and a half step. Then from the three, three, four, five, half step and a whole step. So, so far I have three different patterns. Two whole steps, whole and a half, half and a whole. If I start from the four, I get the same as the one. Four, five, six, one, two, three, two whole steps. If I start from the five, I go five, six, seven, two whole steps. We have three patterns, two holes, whole half, half whole, two holes, two holes, whole half. And if I go from the seven, it's half whole. It, you'll see in the printed column uh, this all laid out nicely. And you'll see that there are shared patterns. One, four, and five share a pattern. Two and six share a pattern. Three and seven share a pattern. What we're going to do is we're going to number everything. And we're going to find out what the patterns look like. It's all in the column. But if I start here, I have a magic number to follow, plus a tritone. I'm in F. And the tritone will appear where it'll appear. Whoops, that ain't it. Okay, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Four shares the pattern with one. One, four, five, six. And now I have the extra half step of the tritone, so I have to bring my first finger up. That's my tritone. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, augmented fourth. That's a tritone. Because I have two E strings, if I want to follow the pattern of all seven degree of pattern forms, it's also going to follow the cycle of fourth, which has a magic number attached to it. I'm going to repeat the number to you quickly, and you can do what you like. One four seven three six two five. 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 Reversed is the cycle of fifths. One five two six three seven four. One five two six three seven four. This is not your phone number. This is a circular number. It goes forwards and backwards. It's the Ouroboros. It's a mystical, magical, uh, open sesame agricultural cadabra. Whatever you want it to be. It's really a magic in to the secrets of music, and it'll allow you to become a musician, not just a guitar player. Back to our instrument, we're going to lay it down, but I'm going to abandon one of the E strings, in this case, the high E. Because I want to go to an E string after the B string, I'll just go back to the low E string. So watch. One, four, share the formula, then the tritone, then the seven, three, they share a pattern of having half steps at the bottom. Then I have to adjust for the guitar. And I have six and two. Except the two, I'm not going to play on the top. I'm going to go. I'm going to return down to the bottom. You know, carry it like an arith arithmetic problem. Nine plus two equals one, carry to one. So here's what's going to happen. Here's my magic number. Here's me playing the scale in five strings, in a serpentine spiral, all the way up the board, I will play through one octave. Here we go. One, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one, four, share a pattern. So there's always three long in a row once you get going. And the one is always in the middle, so remember we're in F. Five, one, four. Now I've reached that m magic moment where I have to adjust for the guitar, but I also have a tritone. 
So I have to adjust for the scale for the tritone at the same time. This is the only place in my scale where I'll do a double bump, like this. And now I'm at seven, then three, six and two, five, one, four, the tritone, seven, three, six, two, five. You better obey me. Five, one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one. And that took me all the way through the entire scale. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to abandon the low E string. That'll take me in a rotation from the A string to the high E string, and then back to the A string, because I'll have used up the letter name E. This will put me, because I'll still start on the tonic for your brain, so your brain can feel comfortable in the key of B flat. And you'll hear one, four, seven, tritone, seven, three, six, two, five, one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one, four. Double jump, because four was on the G string. Four, five, six, seven, three, six, two, five, one, four. Now, even though I'm coming back over to A, I have to come up a fret to compensate for the tritone, which would have been on the next string going that way. You get it? Hi, I'm Richard Lloyd, author of the Alchemical Guitarist column in Guitar World. This month we're going to talk about positional play and the pentatonic boxes. One flat three four five flat seven, or in a major, one, two, three, five, six. Today we're going to take the pentatonic scale, which is a five-note shortcut through the major scale, and we're going to in fact add another note technically making it a hexatonic scale or a six note scale. Now, if I add the tritone back in, I'll end up with what is usually called the blues tone. It's a hexatonic scale of six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. In the meantime, you have this new pattern to work out, which is really simple, and it's based on the diatonic scales. you simply take out the middle note. 